Sophia Yen is brilliant. Dr. Sophia Yen is really important for us because she um, developed a lot of techniques and, and published those for us in veterinary practice that we utilize every day. She's written a couple of best-selling books. Her website is mentioned at least five times a week on the various dog trainer lists I'm on. I had read her book, uh, How to Behave So Your Dog Behaves. It not only worked for the dog's behavior, but it made our relationship so loving. My name is Dr. Sophia Yin. I'm a veterinarian and an applied animal behaviorist with over 20 years of experience. I have a passion for animals. She's able to take a lot of knowledge, put it together, and then put it back out there so even a layman can understand it. She um, has the practical aspect of the handling together with the medical. Sophia is really good at gathering information from all kinds of sources and making sure that they're really well founded in science and then coming up with new strategies and new training methods. She's also then really good at teaching people how to use those methods. Another thing that Sophia is really good at is, is problem solving, knowing what a dog wants to do and will do and then getting the dogs to the point where you want them to be. We're lucky to be close enough to have such a seriously respected behaviorist to work with. My name's Dr. Sophia Yin. I'm a small animal veterinarian and I've wanted to be a vet ever since I was a kid. And so I went to vet school, became a vet, and then got out into practice and realized that more animals were dying due to behavior problems. I feel the key to dog training is that you have to learn to lead like a leader in a dance. dance you have a lead and a follow. The follower is usually a female and the only way the follower knows what to do is that the leader guides her an instant ahead of time. When he guides her he has to give signals with his entire body. He's not just shouting out the steps, he's guiding her with his entire body and momentum at just the right instant so she knows what to do. If he daydreams or he doesn't know what he's going to do next, all of a sudden she's going to know and she's going to be confused. If he frequently daydreams or frequently gives bad signals, then she's just going to lead herself. The interesting thing about dogs and humans is that humans communicate mostly verbally through words and verbal language, whereas dogs communicate primarily through body language. So if humans want to communicate with dogs, we have to learn how to use our body and move our body in ways that make our signals clear to the dog. It's easy to train dogs. All you have to do is reward good behaviors and remove rewards for the undesired behaviors. What's difficult is training the humans because the humans have to be aware of their every action around the dog because every time they interact with their dog, they're training their dog whether or not they're aware of it. For instance, people generally don't like it when their dogs jump on them. So all you have to do to fix that behavior is make sure you only reward the dog for sitting. So you only pet him, give him attention, give him treats if he's sitting, and you never reward him when he jumps. Training dogs is not just about giving treats. It's about moving in ways that make it fun for them and that make it clear exactly what you want them to do. So when I watch people train, I analyze what they're doing and I analyze the dog's response. So from the way that they're moving their shoulders to the, the posture they have to the speed that they're moving, all of those things have a huge effect on what the dog perceives as a signal. It's all about breaking the exercises down into little pieces that people can actually do. It's like training an athlete in a sport. When you finally get the timing and the movement correct, to your dog, it's like a breath of fresh air. You finally speak his language, he finally understands exactly what you want, and now your relationship can reach new heights. The knowledge that she has and that she's sharing will cost a dog trainer so many thousands of dollars, and Sophia is offering so much of it, so much of her time and so much of her knowledge for free for dog trainers just going to her website or purchasing her book. She really wants people to have a deep and loving relationship with their animals 
Pixie was so bad when we first got her. I mean, just so afraid. She's come a long way. Much happier dog now. 